Let's talk now to Juliette Toomer, who's from the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees. Uh, good to see you again on the programme, Juliette. So, uh, warnings that over 90% of the population in Gaza is facing crisis levels of hunger, warnings of potential famine. What's the situation like, according uh, to the people you have on the ground? Exactly like uh, you said, these are unprecedented uh, levels uh, of uh, hunger. Gaza has never seen those, uh, and uh, this is... Uh, only an indicator to how bad the situation has become very quickly, but also the direct result of the siege and the lack of basic supplies, including food for two million people. So is food uh, what's most badly needed? What kind of aid uh, does Gaza need at the moment? Look, everything is needed, and we're talking here about the basics, and what people need most is uh, safety and protection. They also need everything that is super basic uh, because they have lost everything because the vast majority of them are now displaced including in united nations shelters and we are not getting the humanitarian supplies that we need to cater and respond to a humanitarian crisis this size and this scale and so we need to get much much more so as you say, lots of displaced people, estimates around 85% of the population has been displaced from their homes. What could that mean, uh, both short term and longer term? It means uh, that uh, the more we have bombardments and the more the war continues, there will be more people who are forced to flee their homes. The more that we have these evacuation orders that the Israeli authorities continue to issue, including this morning, we will see an exodus of people continue to um, search safety, search sh shelter, and they will come to UNRWA facilities which are already at four or five times their, their capacity. And so the combination of the war and the siege and the lack of availability of basic supplies, including food, has led to the assessment that we've seen last night of unprecedented levels of, uh, of, of hunger and starvation. So we have this vote uh, due from the UN Security Council on resolution to get more aid into Gaza. How important could that be? Very, very important and very critical. There needs to be, you see, a standard and regular flow of humanitarian supplies that should come into Gaza. There also needs to be supplies, commercial supplies that come to the markets. Not one commercial commodity has been allowed into the Gaza Strip since the war began uh, now 11 weeks ago. And it means that 2 million people are now dependent on a humanitarian operation that does not have enough to be able to cater to the needs. Juliet Tuma from the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees, thank you for joining us today.